Hey everybody, welcome back, Falcon, Timber and Stone, let's get the game going on over here. So, off camera, I did a little bit of, um, I guess, um, resource management, see what we needed to do. Here's what I came up with. Solid ingot, right? We have eight of them. For most of the weapons that are, you know, at least defensive weapons, we, remember, we have the Barbed Helm, right, which required ingots. But the next one after would be the Great Helm, but that requires strong ingot. And if we went over to the Halberk, we can make one of these right now, definitely. So we have at least two people with the Halberk, but... Breastplate, strong ingot. So regardless of which, we're going to be needing some strong ingots to kind of go beyond what we kind of have available right now. And the same thing with the boots over here. The sabatons are going to require ingots, but then we could go up to the... The fuck is that? Cusis? Cuisis? <laughs> I don't even know, man. These fucking armors are just a little bit too... Um, I don't even know. Named awkwardly for me. Cusis? Cuisis? Coitus? I don't know, they're probably like sex, um, greaves of some kind, but whatever. No, these are the greaves over here. So, in order to get these up and running, we definitely need the strong ingots. Now, here's what I was thinking we do. I'm thinking, as much as I want to hold on to these guys, standard ingot in terms of equipment is kind of obsolete at this point. Now, if we look at solid ingot, and we come over here, one ingot and one, you know, tin ore will make one solid ingot. And that's the next level that we need, because we want to get up to strong ingot. Now, strong ingot is actually pretty easy to make. All we need is solid ingot and coal, which we have 36 of. So it's a one-for-one one trade. So one ingot basically means one strong ingot. And we have enough coal to make this happen. So here's what I'm thinking we do. The only downside is that we need to get him up to level 13 blacksmith, which he's not at right now. But if we get him up to 13, we can make our strongest equipment right off the bat. So... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to basically sacrifice all the standard ingot that we have to make into solid ingots. So, right now, we could do... Is that queued up? No. We're going to do one more of these because two iron ore is what we have. We can make one more. And then we're going to come over here and one ingot and one tin ore creates one solid ingot, correct? We have nine, 29, so we can make definitely nine more. Now, can I make any more of this? Absolutely. Well, actually... They are making it right now. So once we get even more standard ingot made, we'll definitely be able to make more solid ingots. So, yeah, I, I hope you understand what I'm saying there. But basically, it's like a whole production line going on. We're going to turn all of our solid ingots or strong ingots into solid ingots. Then we're going to use the solid ingots to turn them into the strong ingots. And then we'll probably be set up properly for um, next level of equipment. So he's going to be doing some blacksmith work for a bit now. Meaning we're not going to have enough carpenters. So we're going to be a little bit low. Only Mark Solar is carpenting because... Silent Psychopath is indeed over here turning the rest of the equipment, or the rest of the wool, into cloth for our next level of beds. And the beds are going to be pretty useful because then I'll be able to get rid of the ones that we originally had, which are made out of animal hide. We'll be able to turn that animal hide into leather, and then hopefully, leather boots from the leather for our regular workers. Then my infantry people will get, hopefully, some... I guess, some... Um, I guess shoes, like greaves, whatever, that actually protect against damage. Because right now they're using the leather boots, which speeds them up a little bit, which is fine. But we want them to kind of take less damage when they're fighting, especially now that the enemies are hitting us a bit harder than usual. So, um, yeah, that's basically what we're doing That You can't walk to your desired target. Well, why not? Guys, come on. Don't do this shit. There. Fuck. <laughs> I swear to God, all, this thing, all the time. Oh, I can't do it. He's in the way. Um, oh, Silent Cycle's done. Perfect. So you could now go back to being a Carpenter, which we do need you there. So, Carpenter away, if you don't mind. Thank you. Who are you? Starcasters, what were you doing? You were mining. Are we done mining? I find that hard to believe, my friend. And we're also coming... Oh, look, our food's at 527. Oh, dude, our food is coming in pretty nicely now. I'm happy about that. Um, are we done mining? That sounds like really crazy to me. But we could... Oh, we... Apparently, probably are, though. No, no, there's some more mining to be done. Starcasters. Don't tell me you're fucking idle. Oh, you just wanted to sleep. Well, that's different. Yeah, you can go ahead and sleep out of here. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Believe me, real beds are coming soon. Just soon. Give me a bid here, and we'll have them up and running. As a matter of fact, you can start, like, probably start making a few of them now, right? Because um, we're done turning the wool into cloth. Now, we have 51, right? Let's see. Objects. Uh, furniture. Blanketed bed is what we're looking at right now, right? Yes, not straw bed. Blanketed bed. For the comfortable beds, we need cotton, which we don't have. We don't have a cotton field yet. 
Although, I did plant the few cotton seeds that I had over here. So this right here is the cotton, by the way. It's gonna come in at some point or another. So... Should we wait then? Nah, nah, let's just make the blanketed bits for now. Alrighty, so... Four timber, six clod, and eight wheat. Let me look at my... Clods, so six, right? We could make... Not ten. Not n nine? Nine times six is what? Nine times five is forty-five. Nine more would be like, you know, fifty... Four? So we can make eight beds right now. Eight times six, yeah. Okay, so we can make eight beds right now, and that'll be at least something to kind of help us out here meanwhile. So let's go into objects and... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Furniture. And... Blanketed bed. Okay. So... How do I want to set the setup over here? I don't know. I want to do a little bit of fancy or not like so fucking uniform like we're like in the military or something. I wish I could see where the, um, where's the pillowcase? Or where's the pillow go at? Is that it? Oh, come on. Is this, that looks like where the pillow would be, right? Like the top portion of it? So let's do up against the wall, definitely. I'm a big person that I need my bed to be up against the wall at all time. So yeah, we could do that there. That there. Three. I said eight, right? And, oh uh, boy. Well, this could be a problem. What if I... Let's see, hold up a second here. Cancel this one. Cancel this one. Let's do comfortable bed. Rotate, please. Okay, so we'll place you up against this over here, uh, but then we're still going to be into run into an issue over here, regardless of which. Would we? Let's see, like, we'll place you there, and then let's uh, cancel this one, and we'll do blanketed bed over here. We'll leave the space in between. At least it's kind of uniformed in a sense. Now, I hope that means that, you know, they could still get into this bed without that much of an issue. I guess the other thing I could do is just lining up over here instead, right? Eh. Let's do it this way for now, and then we'll see what happens. So we can make what? I said four more, correct? Now, where do I want these other ones? Yeah, let's see here. So if I'm going to do those there... Uh... <laughs> I guess I should probably do them vertically this side, or horizontally this side instead of this over here. You know what? Yeah. We might come back to it, but for now, let's try it this way instead. So let me imagine the pillowcase is here, which I'm reading at, and then we'll do, like, room on each side. And then... Is that enough space, or do I want two spaces in between? Yeah, let's, let's leave two spaces in between. Let's give them a little bit of a um, buffer zone. That's not the cap... That's not the shift key, Falcon. It's the caps locks. We need caps locks right now, bro, or shift, as a matter of fact. So we'll do... Bam, 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 and oh, oh, perfect. Okay, so that will work out this way. Alrighty. Alrighty, that's good. That is very, very good, I think, yeah, yeah. Sure, why not? Alrighty, so we have six beds over here going across, and then we're going to do the same venue over here. So we'll do you up against the wall, apparently, and then that, and that. So that's going to be nine beds, which is more than we actually can make right now, but that's okay. That's okay. It'll just be there ready for whenever we get the proper equipment for it. So cancel that one. Cancel that one. Come and build these. These are built by the carpenter. So we do have a carpenter set up for that. They'll come over here and build this at some point, but we need timber for that. But yeah, we'll do it this way right now. And we'll see what happens. Anybody idle? Nope. You guys are going to be able to get some sleep soon, man. Don't worry. Oh, here they come. Yeah! Silent Psycho's making some beds over here. Oh, perfect. They're not, you know, fancy looking or anything right now, but... Now, here's what I want to do. Um, Starcaster and Mark Solar. Ownership. Owned by Settler. Owned by Starcasters. Okay. And I can assign that one just yet. Who's idle? Scabia. Scabia and the Penguin. Banded. I don't even see the penguin bandit. Oh, he's right here. Well, they're idle, or the fox, I should say. They're idle because um, we have no timber, and I think they're actually done building... No, no, they're not. They're not done, but we have no more uh, timber. 
which is the problem here. Out of curiosity, how are you guys getting all the way to the top over here? <laughs> I haven't even considered that. How are you guys getting all the way up there? Whatever, man. You guys do whatever you have to do. You're doing it fine, though. Um, so, yeah, we need timber in order to make these, um, the rest of this happen right now. So, what I'm gonna do here, because we're still low on wood anyway, how about, momentarily, Fox, you're a level 6 builder, Scobby is my best builder, so, Fox, I could have you do something else meanwhile. Um, maybe wood chopping would be ideal. We need a stone mason pretty soon. Go into farming for now. Just for now. Just do something meanwhile. We get some timber happening. Okay. We have two beds now. And who's the other person that's asleep on the floor? Mark Solar. So this will be ownership owned by Settler. Mark Solar. Okay. What's weird to me though is um, I'm pretty sure I had given ownership of these beds to these guys over here. No, that's Nintender. See, Starcasters had a bed owned to him, but apparently he sleeps outside for some reason. But some of them don't sleep outside. So I don't know, I'm, I'm confused. I'm, I'm definitely confused because, you know, he has his own bed up here. So ownership uh, available to anyone. And that's Nintender. How about this one? Anyone. Okay. Hey, you. Look. I made you a fucking bed. So you get up here right now. Okay, get up here. Come and sleep. I know you're gonna go back down and start instantly working again. Because you're a fool. But there's your bed up here. I just wanted to at least, uh, at least see it. Mark, you have a bed up here too. So come up here. Realize you have a bed and be like, oh, hey, my bed. And then go do something. Oh, look at our food. It's up to six and a, you know, 650 roughly. But we're actually out of um, storage. We're almost out of storage facility for our food. Which is good. It means that we're actually bringing in some more food. Which is not a bad thing at all. Let's go into resources and... No. We need some more objects, huh? Objects are actually... Is a construction? No, it's objects. Object storage. Um, ba -ba -ba. Now, we could start making some barrels, definitely. But I want to use up those ingots to... Um, you know, make the strong ingots. Or make the solid ingots, I should say. Huh. Fish rack. Interesting. Uh, food barrel. Food crate. Yeah, I'm going to use the, man, timber, which is what we need right now, a lot of. You know what, let's make a few barrels. It'll be a barrel of laughs, huh? How about that? We have 18 of them anyway. So let's make a few barrels, like, over here for now. Like, one, two. Ugh. <laughs> that's three ingots, huh? Yeah, that's fine, whatever. And that's actually made by who? We do have a person that can construct that, correct? Object, storage, um... Carpenter, yes. Okay. We only have one carpenter right now, so she's actually pulling in the overtime. If I'm right. No, we have two. Silent and Mark. Alright, so you guys keep making some of that timber and also get those crates up and running because our food is not being stored anymore. We are, we're at 666 food. Is that a coincidence or has Falcon really made a pack with the devil to actually succeed in this game? And well, you know what? I'm not telling you. I'm not telling. I want to make sure there's any animals out here, or enemies, I should say. I don't see any. The sheep was never domesticated by, um... What's his face? Is that... You are alive, right? Yeah, you're moving. Unless you're a zombie. Oh, you're definitely alive. I don't think uh, Dave ever wants to um, collect you, though. He doesn't really along with you. <laughs> doesn't like the cut of your chip. Alrighty. Rest of these beds over here. So, so far we have what? Ownership Mark. Ownership Starcasters. And I guess for the rest of them, we could just basically go down alphabetical order, right? So we'll do Arkelis and let's see ownership owned by Settler Cortana. Okay, cool. And you are oh, you're done with the smitting work. Good for you. Good for you. Now let's see. You're at eleven and a half. We need you up to thirteen, dog. 13 is the magical number right now we're looking for. However, since we have a few of these ingots over here made, we could turn these into solid if I'm right. So, we're up to 18 solid ingots. That's actually pretty good. So, let's see here. We need ba -ba -ba -ba, one and one. So, yeah, you could definitely make... We need at least two more for the barrel. So, we'll do 12. Or 11, I should say. So, we'll make 11 more solid ingots. 
So run off, go do that. Our storage for food is increasing now. Excellent. We'll have that up and running soon. There you go. We're right of the yellow and the reds. And our food is looking really amazing finally. I mean, we're getting a really amazing supply now. And we should be getting some cotton too once these um, cotton plants come in. So yeah, we're, we're doing really, really great. Now, in terms of our mining here, I should probably consider a kind of um, increasing our mining because I think we're almost done with it. Oh no, there's still have a lot to go through, actually, as a matter of fact. So let's have them run, and I'm gonna just pick out some of these um, little ores over here. Okay. Let's raise this one so I could see what's happening over here, too. And there's some more tin ore over here, and there's coal. And that. Okay. And there's some more copper here. Anything else? Oh, more coal. Definitely grab that. And that is good. Alrighty. Ha ha ha! Oh, oh shit! We have a new uh, person joining too! Yeah! Alrighty. You're charismatic, you're courageous, you're an overeater, and you have a weak back. I don't like these two last traits, but, you know, it's all in the matter of getting more people renamed, so I'm gonna accept them. You're a Builder 3, Engineer 3, Herder 2, Tailor 3, Farmer 2, and Forager 3. Alrighty, sure, why not? So, Simon. Um, Simon, I will rename him after this episode because I need to see who is next on the list right now. So we'll definitely do that afterwards. Uh, Simon, let's, um, I don't need you as a builder right now. I need some help wood chopping, to be honest with you. Maybe even mining. But let's have you turn into a wood chopper, I'm going to say. We definitely need a bit more wood coming in for the timber. So go and do that. Alrighty. Stone mason, we're almost out of stone picks again. So we're going to have to get... I think it's Mark Solar to do some stone masonry for us pretty soon over here. Let's see, where is he at? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Mark? Mark? There you are. You are carpenting right now? Um, let me get you off of that and do some stone mason work then. Alrighty. Um, is, um, what's her face asleep? <laughs> By what's her face, I do mean silent psychopath. She is asleep. So we have no carpenter right now, meaning no timber for a while. Look at our food, man. It's up to 727 now. That's amazing. A lot of people are asleep right now. By the way, the guys that are asleep, you better not have beds up here that have your name on it. God damn it. Because if you do, I'm going to be mighty upset. Now, this is over here owned by R. Kelly. This is over here owned by Cortana. So next person would be, choose owner, Dave. Okay. This one is Cortana. That's Dave, correct? Yes. Next person is going to be... Uh, Dragon. Alrighty, Dragon, you have a bed too. We have a merchant coming up pretty soon as well. Alrighty. So we need to get Dave up and running in terms of um, getting some trading happening over here. I see him right here. Usually when the merchants show up, I also see enemies pop up. It's like they bring them along with them. So let me just do a little bit of double check here. My wood choppers are doing their thing out here, which is good. That sheep is still over there. I, I guess we probably just don't have enough room anymore? Could that be it? I'm not even sure. Um, Dave, you're gonna have to stop doing this for a second, though, and let's have you turn into a trader, my friend. Alrighty. Now, in terms of trading, what do we even need to trade? I feel like we finally have a pretty good supply that we're kind of uh, making our own things now, but, I mean, there's obviously more things we could always get. Scabia, you can't build right now because we're out of timber, so for now, let me give you another job. Um... See, what else do you kind of excel at here? Adventure, blacksmith, carpenter. You know what? Since um, Silent Psychopath's asleep, you could do some carpenter work meanwhile. So let's have you do that. R. Kelly, you're done with your um, ingots, huh? You're making these a lot faster than usual, dog. You're almost at level 12, too. Good. Um, yeah. So. Do you have any more copper ore? We actually do. So we could do maybe two more. Go do that, and then we'll talk to you in a second. Scrap metal, not enough. And... Oh, hey, we actually have some more iron ore, so you can make me two more of that. And you can make me one more of this. So there you go. Run off and do that one, my friend. You are going to do some carpenter work meanwhile, and then we just need to wait for our trader, Dave, who's waiting for the merchant here. Now, what do we want to buy from this merchant, or what are we willing to sell now? We have no money, I'm pretty sure, right? And I fucked up and I forgot to make us some more clubs to sell. Yeah, that could have been really ideal. At least for a coin, but, you know, whatever. 
Um, I feel that with enough food, there we're kind of bringing it in now. We could actually even sell some food. I'm considering it. I really am. I kind of don't want to sell the coal anymore, to be honest, because we're kind of we could use the coal to make the next level of ingots really easily. So, I might just want to hold on to that one. Uh, fat's always for sale. Weed. I mean, you could sell some of the weed, I suppose. Um, seedlings. Yeah. If you want to buy some, let me know. Tin ore. Silver ore. We have some silver ore. We could probably turn this into coin ourselves. He might be actually leveled up enough. And by him, I'm talking about our Kelly to make some something with the... Oh, look. Gold ore. We have three of them, too. So, yeah. We, start, we have to start taking a look at how to make our own money, too. Yeah, to be honest with you, there's really not much that I want to sell. So, it's just a matter of what he wants to sell to me. So yeah, we'll just let him come over, and we'll see what happens. But again, I feel like we're doing pretty good on our own now. We're going to actually make our own supplies with our proper levels here. So we'll see what he's offering, but, you know, not really looking to buy too much. I'm tired of them fucking always stiffing me off, by the way. I'm afraid I have no use for dirt at this time. Yeah, well, it's your own problem. <laughs> it's your problem. Now, we have two more ingots now, correct? So... You shouldn't be, um, oh, you're Mark Solar, you're not, um, R. Kelly. So, Mark, you were my stone amazing. You made up all the, um, tools that you needed. Excellent. So, you could go back to carpenter work? Yes. Okay, here we go. This merchant is willing to buy 20 wheat seed for 40 coin. That is a lot of money, dog. 20 wheat seed, huh? We have how many? 37. I'm going to accept it. I'm definitely going to accept it. It's 40 coin, man. I can't say no. Um, he's willing to buy 43 Animal 4 for one coin. You out of your fucking mind. Fuck you with that trade. This merchant's willing to buy seven knives for seven coin. Yeah, go for it. Why not? Alrighty. And he's willing to buy five stone axes for... Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Go for it. I mean, I can make the stone axes really easy anyway. He's willing to sell one turnip seed for 20 coin. Alrighty, we don't have turnips. That would be a new food for us to actually have. And I'm always excited for that. So yeah, we're going to basically throw away some of the money we just got. But hey, a new food. That's always pretty good. Remember, the first seed is always really expensive too. E, cotton seed. Cotton seed. We have six cotton seed. No. We already have a few seeds, so we're going to definitely make our own cotton seeds from our little inventory here. So I'm going to decline that one. Thank you, but no thank you. Um, he's willing to sell 49 copper ore for 25 coin. That's really enticing. Just because um, we're turning all the solid in or the ingots into solid ingots and then we need a lot of more strong ingots. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's a lot of uh, ore, man. He's a lot of leather. I could have really used the leather, my friend. Alrighty, who's... um. R. Kelly, you're done. You're not going to be done soon because we just have a lot of copper ore for you to actually work with. Now you're level 12. This will more than likely get him up to level 13 too, so I'm excited. That's a really, really good trade on my part. I know it was a lot of money, but it's a lot of ore without having to mine it through and trying to find it. So copper ore, 52. That's really, really great. Let's go into standard ingots then. And we can make 26. 26, that's just amazing. So yeah. Go over here, go work, make me 26 of these, and then we'll talk after you're done with that. Off you go, my friend. Um, animal hide. One animal hide for four coin. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, animal hide is just really hard to come by, so I, I need to definitely take advantage of it. There he goes. You know what? Not a bad trader. I actually like that dude a little bit. Dave, you go back to being a herder, my friend. Good job with the trading, by the way. So, herd away. And by the way, you do have herding crook and sharp shears with you. Okay. So I'm to make sure. Our wood supply is actually coming up pretty high now because we have a few people wood chopping now. Timbers at the 30 something. Good. So we could probably get our people to make the roof of our building pretty soon. And we could probably also make a few more beds, assuming we have the cloth for it. So that is an upside for sure. Alrighty, we're gonna call an episode here. I'm excited. I think that we have a lot of amazing resources now to kind of um keep going further and further and we can start making our stronger equipment now the moment he hits level 13 um from blacksmith we'll be able to make the stronger equipment we have a lot of ingots now too which is a fucking amazing hopefully you guys enjoyed it leave a thumbs up leave a like the support does mean a lot simon will be renamed after the next after this episode so good luck to whoever gets um that spot and um other than that i will catch you next time